Hi there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw a cute little hedgehog. So let's get started. With this little hedgehog, we're going to first start by drawing a curve. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve. So nice, simple curve like that. And we're going to start to bring it around. So right here is going to be where his little nose is. So we're going to come up a little bit, give it a little tip, and then bring it around. And nice, soft curve right here. So just imagine this is his little nose because his hedgehog is looking um, to the side. It's a profile. So we're going to continue to bring down this curve. And we're just going to start to bring it in. So we're almost done with his head part and we're going to start to bring it in. But right here will be about his neck and then we're going to start to draw his tummy. So just keep going down. And we're going to start curving it out. And nice round tummy. So don't worry if your curves don't look exactly like mine. Um, your hedgehog could, be, hedgehog could be shorter, fatter, skinny, any, any way you like. It just depends on how you draw um, these curves. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. It's going to be cute anyways. <laughs> so let's come back up here so we don't get kind of lost. We're going to come back up here and put in a little nose. So come at this tip right here and just curve up a little nose so that you can kind of see what's going on. So by putting that little nose, now it looks a little bit more recognizable as to what you're drawing. And then from there, let's bring this curve a little bit higher. From there, we're going to start to bring um, these little um, quills that come to line his face. So we're going to draw this curve, but we're not going to be using a solid line. We're going to draw these little, um, little marks like that. So just put your pen down and lift up. So we're just going to draw this curve using this technique. So keep going all the way around. So this is his head, so we're going to be drawing a curve about to where you um, come in right here. So we're going to stop about right here. You're drawing a curve, so you can give yourself a little point about right there. And so just keep going like that. So the technique is to put your marker down and lift up lift up. So that's nice and soft towards the end. And so then from there when we come in we're going to start to bring this out a little bit more now. So it comes in about little, right there and this is where his body is. We're going to start to um, open up this curve. So we're going to come about right here, do the same thing. And this is his body. So we're going to bring down this curve a little bit more. Just keep going. So this is the shape that you're trying to build. It's this little nose, tummy, and his um, the start of his quills. So we're just going to keep coming down. And right here, we're just going to bring it in like that. And let's just finish it off and connect it. So then from there, let's come back in here. And about right here is where we're going to put the eyes. So I'm just going to come here, draw a circle, about right there. And because it's so small, we're just going to give it one little highlight and then shade it in. Like that. And draw a little curve at the top to anchor the eyes. And I'm going to come about right here and draw a little curve for the mouth. And then cap it off. <laughs> and then from there, let's uh, draw the hand. So about right here, because this is where his face is, and then we're come about down here. It will be his hand. So we're gonna come here and draw a little curve, bring it around. So I'm simplifying the hands, and come out. Then you can come in here, just draw two little curves, and then on this hand, we we'll a little bit diagonal right here. We're going to start to draw his other hand. So about right here, we're going to curve, and he's holding my favorite thing to draw, a dandelion. So I'm going to bring this curve around, and you can bring in two little curves right here. So it looks like his paws, and we draw the dandelion later. But let's finish off the hedgehog here. So we're going to come to the bottom right here and draw his little feet. So I'm going to come right here, draw a little curve. 
And once again, I'm simplifying the feet and just bring it in. Same thing right here, we're gonna draw the other foot a little bit higher and bring it in. So now to draw his awesome curves. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> sorry, but right here in the center of this curve right here, we're gonna draw his ear before I forget. So just a nice little curve for his ears. So now to draw the quills. So it's the same technique. We're gonna come down right here and push out. Same thing. So this part, just have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We just wanna be able to come all the way around and give him this nice full body of quills. So I'm just gonna keep going and notice I'm once again just putting my marker down and lifting up and pushing out. So like I said, have fun with this part and don't worry about being right or wrong or too long or too short. So just keep coming down here. Maybe from the bottom you can change the direction a little bit. But we want to give this this nice curve so that it looks nice and fat. <laughs> so then you can come in here and just fill in here and there. Keep coming in. It's the same technique. Push down, out. Down, lift. So I'm just going to come in here really quickly and fill it up. So I hope you guys love this um, cute little hedgehog and it made it easy for you to follow along and draw a cute little hedgehog. Thank you for all the requests. I love these little guys. They're so cute. Okay, so there. That's. I think that's enough. <laughs> Okay, so there, we got our little hedgehog in. So now to draw um, him holding um, a dandelion. So that's my favorite thing to draw if you've been following me. But you can have him holding anything you want. He could be holding a balloon, a flower. But if you wanted to draw a dandelion, I'm gonna come here and just gonna draw a little, the stalk of a dandelion is gonna go through his hand. So it's gonna be nice and close to his body. So this is the stem right here, and I'm just going to imagine it being overlapped by the head and pop out by right there. There, I've got my dandelion stem in. And then from there, let's draw our dandelion. So like I said, you can put a flower or anything here you want. It could be a little umbrella too. <laughs> okay, so but if you're drawing the dandelion, it's the same thing as if you were drawing the quills. Just come poof your lines, lift, and notice I'm kind of going in this circular, this direction, and come back in here, and make it nice and poofy. So that's our little dandelion. There, the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and of course he's outside. So I'm gonna come right here and just draw some zigzags for grass. So but right here, so we can, and I'm gonna flatten this part out a little bit more. And that's about it for this cute little uh, hedgehog. I hope you love it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.